Uh, this is a build I'm working on right now. Uh, supposed to be about a thousand taps ish. It, it might be when we're done. We've only got three main lines. Spacing's a little bit far right here in this section, but it's a triangle. So, you know, not too bad right here, 75 feet or so, 100 foot to that one. Um, but it's coming out okay. Season's coming. So, in this build, we have a couple situations. Um, there's a trail here, nice road. Client wants to utilize it if they can, as best they can. Um, However, the main line ended up on the other side of it. And it's because like right here where the ATV is, is a high spot. And I was not able to get any slope going up in the woods. That's what I was hoping for. So we ended up down here. Um, and as you can see, the main line is pretty close to the ground. It's about 18 inches on that tie back right there. Same thing over right there in that trail. But anyways, <clears throat> the reason for this, I want to show you this was, uh, I was thinking, how was I going to get, how was I going to get the tubing into the main line and not have, you know, a bunch of tubing in the way. So I thought of this, which I've done this before, but not quite this excessive. Um, just put a, a tie back wire up and hook your runs into that. Obviously you got to think a little different when you're tubing because you're going to tube to, to, you know, one spot instead of, in a straight line so there's you got to think a little bit more for the tubing but it came out okay it's kind of a dead spot right here anyways as far as trees go so not too bad but you can see you can see um, the ones i already did over here there's like two runs there and there's like four runs there and then the furthest one there's like six runs that come into it so it's it's not bad it's not bad it's coming out okay and as you can see the four-wheeler here underneath it it's all good, there's plenty of room, plenty of headroom. Um, so we just gotta continue. We're gonna have to do that in a couple, couple more places going forward here, but it, it'll work. So in this build, we're building, oh, hopefully it'll be about a thousand taps, I guess. It's a wet dry line, headed out there a thousand feet that way. And then it's buried into the mountain there, into the hill a little bit. But anyways, just wanted to show you a way to do a circle. <laughs> As you can see, this main line right here, running in, kind of follows the base of this little knob. And there's some seasonal drainage that comes through as well, so kind of want to be mindful of that. But um, anytime you got to go around in a, in a circle like this, it can be real tricky with, with the main line and the wire. And uh, one thing that I like to do is I like to use the Twizzlers, or uh, preforms they're called. And I go around the tree, you know, with the number nine and space that preform out pretty good here. We got about four foot space right there between those two. And that kind of breaks up that, that circle. So I got, I got one here and I got one over there and that other tree to make this loop. And then right there, there's just a tie, a regular tie back, just holding the, the tension to it. But, um, this way right here really breaks that up so it's not like a sharp doesn't become a sharp uh point sometimes that happens when you're trying to go in a loop in a circle like this i definitely don't recommend doing circles if you can help it but uh, sometimes the lay of land is just how it how it works out but yeah so just put the preform on there on your number nine and connect your your number nine going around the tree the same way <clears throat> if you use preforms you know that when they're uh tw just T uh, twisted at an angle like this they don't they don't slip right if they're straight if it's a straight butt you got to use two but when they're when they're crooked like that just like they are on an entry just a little tension like that they're they're fine so i uh, just want to show you that good luck